Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs looking at your recent past, current energy and immediate future answering the question what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self. As I do in all of my readings, I pulled the overall energy and clarified those messages as well as the overall theme for the reading, which we'll jump into in just a second. I still have the tarot deck that we'll be using as well as the clarification deck and the advice deck I'll be using to close out the reading in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone. So please remember to take what does resonate and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. All right, Pisces, in your recent past energy, you have expect powerful change with the four of swords in reverse. Your recent past energy is an energy of um, being very drained, burnt out, soul tired, um, and I feel as if there's this energy of really craving change in your life, wanting circumstances to change, wanting things to be different. Now, in your current energy, you have it's time to take action with the King of Wands in reverse. So in your current energy, the universe is trying to nudge you forward into some sort of new beginning or into taking some sort of action. Now, the King of Wands in reverse is a lack of action due to self-doubt. So not taking action, not making change, not taking steps in the direction of something or away from something because of the fear associated with not being good enough, not being capable, um, you know, not being supported by the universe, whatever the case is. But in your recent past, you have luck is on your side with the nine of wands. So this is very much an energy of needing to know that because nine of wands is very much represents obstacles. You know, when you when you're pursuing anything, starting anything, taking steps into the unknown or, you know, away from something that isn't good for you towards something that might be you're gonna face obstacles. If there is anything in this life that is certain, it is obstacles. But we also have an abundant amount of solutions available to us if we are willing to listen to the universe's guidance. And so the universe is letting you know, regardless of obstacles associated with whatever this action is, and hopefully we can get uh, more information on that for you, you will be supported. Luck is on your side. You will be able to find your way through any obstacle presented to you. Now, the overall theme for the reading is transcendence. I like this energy a lot because it, it very much is about you rising above, rising above the obstacles, rising above the setbacks, rising above other people's expectations and opinions, you know, um, kind of declaring for yourself what you're capable of and what you're, you know, deserving of and then allowing yourself to rise above anything that stands in your way and it's a very powerful energy that i feel you're kind of shifting into here but let's start pisces by looking at your recent past expect powerful change with the four of swords in reverse what was pisces dealing with in their recent past Okay. Feeling overwhelmed? I feel like that's an understatement. Overwhelmed, lost, uncertain. Um, I feel as if this energy with the Seven of Cups here is very much an energy of feeling as if no matter what you do, like it, it didn't matter. Now, I don't feel like it, that's actually the truth. Um, like I don't feel like your effort necessarily went to waste, but it just, it very much feels like there's this energy of just being overwhelmed. Like, yeah, you put all of this ener energy in, but it felt like it didn't like matter. Like nothing you did was good enough. Um, and that's not a truth. It's not that you're not good enough, but I, I do very much feel as if that's kind of what you were experiencing in this energy because it's very much soul draining energy here, energy draining energy. What else does Pisces need to know about their recent past? Recent past for Pisces. Hmm. 
the moon. Obviously, that's Pisces energy here. See, but then there's the sun in reverse. So there's very much this energy of being aware that you weren't happy, being aware that you weren't fulfilled. Yet there's a fear of making change here. There's a fear of, of change in your reason best, which is human nature. You know, it makes plenty of sense. Change is a really scary thing. Our ego hates the unknown and change is all about the unknown. And, you know, when we're, when we're unaware of it, we have a tendency to actually cling to what's, what feels stable and what feels secure and familiar, even if it isn't what's good for us. And I feel like that's a lot of what this energy was in your recent past. It's just kind of this energy of not feeling, not feeling fulfilled, not feeling happy, but being afraid of the alternative in a way, which I get. Pisces recent past. The temperance universe. A lot of frustration. A lot of frustration. Now, I like this two of cups and ten of cups energy because I very much feel like there's this energy of showing up um, with love, just love and good intentions, love and good intentions for the people around you, for the situations that you're investing in, but just not feeling, like I said, showing up with these good intentions, but just feeling as if that energy that you were putting in was going to waste, like it didn't matter. And that's where this frustration stemmed from. And the, the sun in reverse is very much a lack of, uh, a lack of joy, a lack of fulfillment. It doesn't mean you were miserable. You could have been depending on the um, situation you were dealing with, but very much this energy of just like, um, things certainly weren't as you expected them to be. That's for sure. All right. Let's see what Pisces needs to know about their current energy, because now you have, it's time to take action with the King of Wands in reverse. What does Pisces need to know more about their current energy? Cause the universe is nudging you forward. Interesting. See, you feel, Pisces, on some level, like you've lost your opportunity to be happy. To be happy, to be loved, to be fulfilled here. You feel like you've lost that opportunity. Or if you were to take action you'd lose that opportunity. One or the other. Definitely a fear surrounding loss. Like, I don't know. I only get more here. What else does Pisces need to know about their current energy? Fear surrounding loss. Potential loss, maybe? Potential loss? Should you... That's... Yeah, because here's an opportunity, and it's out of your comfort zone. There it is, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands. But this, the, the thought of pursuing this opportunity is very triggering. It's, it's scary because of you fear what could be lost. So focusing kind of on what could go wrong instead of what could go right. If I walk away from this relationship that doesn't treat me well, what if nothing better ever comes along? What if this is as good as it gets for me? If I walk away from this job that is sucking my soul and I go to start a business, what if I fail? You know, there's a lot in, in making decisions from that place of what could go wrong, which again, is human nature. Human nature is to avoid, is to, you're hardwired to survive, you know? Um, so human nature is to avoid potential fear. But I feel what you're needing to see here is that's kind of the whole thing. When we don't take action out of fear of what could go wrong, we miss out on what could go right if we do take action. And I feel like that's kind of what this is about because there is an opportunity available for you. And I feel like you know exactly what this is, but it's different than what you're used to. It's out of your comfort zone. So it's, there's a lot of fear surrounding this because it's very, um, you know, I say this a lot. 
If you believe that you are capable and deserving and supported by the universe, you will always see solutions and opportunities. If you believe that you're not capable, deserving, and supported, you will always see obstacles. Um, I feel like right now you're looking at this opportunity through the lens of obstacles. Here are all the reasons why I can't do it. Here are all the reasons why it's not possible. Here are all the reasons why it wouldn't be what's best for me. Even though in your soul you know that there's something here that is best for you. But there's a fear of what could be lost associated with it. Which makes sense. Yeah, there's like a decision. Because yeah, here's the two of swords. You, there's a decision you're needing to make. What else does Pisces need to know about their current energy? I feel like this is confirmation, if anything. So there's the Nine of Wands. There's the obstacles that we're seeing in your immediate future. And then the Queen of Cups. So there you are. So whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, what's this? The star. This action would require you to prioritize, like, yourself and your dreams and your needs and really put yourself first and in your mind you believe that if you do that you're not going to receive from that now okay when we're hardwired to believe that receiving love requires sacrificing our needs or receiving financial abundance and stability requires burnout and suffering you know when we're hardwired to think that way in our mind, that is the only way we can be loved or financially stable, and you can apply this to any kind of area of your life. And so in your mind, this action, it feels very much in alignment with your soul. It feels as if it's, it's, it's choosing you, it's choosing what's best for you, what could potentially be what's best for you. But because it doesn't require the level of like soul-sucking <laughs> energy that you're used to, in your mind, that must, be, that must mean that things aren't going to work out. So that's ultimately what's kind of keeping you from taking some sort of action here. You believe that you wouldn't receive from it. But here's the thing. You're not receiving from the soul. You're not receiving anyway. You're giving, 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 but not receiving. So why not try something different? But let's see. What does Pisces need to know about their immediate future should they choose to move forward in alignment with their higher self? Because I definitely feel like you're being pushed into an opportunity here, Pisces. Does Pisces need to know about their immediate future? The Hierophant. Four of Wands. You're only as lucky as you think you are. You're only as lucky as you think you are. You're only as supported as you think you are. You're only as capable as you think you are. The higher fit in the four of wands is much, very much mindset and perspective. So moving forward, and this is something I've absolutely learned. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're correct. Whether you think that you are lovable or not lovable, you're correct. Whether you think you're good enough or not good enough, you are correct. Whatever you believe about yourself and your life is going to be correct because you're going to prove that to you and to yourself and your reality. So when I talk about luck being on your side, especially in the face of obstacles and adversity, you're only as lucky as you think that you are. And the thing is, you are, the ultimate truth, you are very lucky. You are very capable. You are very deserving. Um, but you've spent a long time doubting that. And this future energy, should you want to get to where you want to go, you can't bring that doubt with you. So, you know, a lot of times we have to look at um, our life through the lens of, you know, the life that we are living is a reflection of what we believe we are deserving of. And if we're not making a change to create a better life for ourselves, it's because a part of us doesn't believe that we're deserving of it. Now, 
one of the things we have to remember is that what we've learned to believe we're deserving of is what we've experienced. So it's not your fault that you believe that you are or are not lovable or are or not capable. It's not your fault. But if you want things to change in your life, you have to shift your perspective on what's possible for you. And I feel like you've been kind of holding yourself back because you've been limiting what you think is possible for you in terms of like how good things can get for you. What can Pisces expect should they choose to move forward in alignment with their higher self? So this is confirmation. If you've been thinking about taking an action, starting a business, walking away from something, walking towards something, like this is your confirmation to give it a shot. There it is. Oh my God. Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles right there. Fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. This, oh, the sun's shining on the card, so they're really bright. Wish fulfillment. Abundance. I mean, that's what you can expect to come out of this situation, basically, is what this is saying. But again, you're only as lucky, capable, deserving as you think that you are. So what, you, what can you expect should you choose to move forward in alignment with your higher self? Should you choose to believe that you are capable, deserving, lovable, all those things? Well, wish fulfillment. Ten of Pentacles. What does Pisces need to know about their immediate future? The lovers. <laughs> what the heck? This is like energy aligning with what it is that you're deserving of. And I don't feel like you've had that. I don't feel like your life has been a reflection of what you're truly deserving of but and, and you know again we learn to believe about ourselves what we've been taught so you probably think well this is as good as it's going to get so I better not take action towards something new or something exciting or something that aligns with my spirit and soul because here's what could go wrong instead of thinking why not me why don't I deserve good things you know I, I am a good person I'm deserving of good things I, I show up with love and good intention those, and, and those good intentions deserve to be met or matched and so I feel like this is all very much, it's like, yeah, believing in and truly how powerful you are and watching your life transform to match that belief. Um, because, yeah, with this transcendence, it kind of feels like not only is this, you know, talking about kind of your ability to transcend any problem or anything that's kind of thrown your way, but also just transcendence in spiritual form too. Transcendence in your, you know, being able to fully step into your power, kind of leveling up in a way um, and you're being given the opportunity to do that but you're doubting your ability um, in it and in right this is confirmation no need to doubt like you're taken care of luck is on your side you are supported you are loved you are valued um, and you deserve to live a life that that meets meets you there where you feel that way in your reality because it's it's very obvious that you haven't been Okay, we're going to hop on over to the extended, focusing on what do you, what can you do right now to ensure you're moving forward in alignment with your higher self. Information for that is in the description box below. Thank you so much, Pisces, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading, obviously, helped and resonated with you in a way that you are needing today. And as always, Pisces, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Right, bye, Pisces.